All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second game here in Wickenburg Tourney. Looks like our Lady Elks will be visitors again this game against Monument Valley Mustangs. Oh, man. All right, position eight. Sorry, guys, I'll quit talking. Line up the same, Dan? Ours is, yes.
Monument Valley warming up is what you can see on your screen now. Yeah, Round Valley choosing to uh, be visitors. Try to score first, gain the psychological edge. <laughs> As I'm sitting here trying to create Monument Valley's lineup because they're not in Game Changer. I just don't understand the speaker today, Dan. Lily, I don't think the speaker wants to play with you today. I know, it's not being kind. Second base is number three. I don't know who number three is. I'm just going to say it's number three. And left field. Bitsoy. I went to school with a Bitsoy. They believe they're coming. He was going to call and then I told him I'd come over after the game and find out for sure. They were supposed to play yesterday. Probably because of the weather. What? I don't know. Didn't have students in school because of the weather. I don't know. How did they get away with that? We never <laughs> get away with that. If All right. only, huh? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are finally umpire is go ahead and take a little bit of the dirt off the plate as Marble steps into the box. Here's the ready to play, ready for play from the umpire, home plate umpire today. Here's the pitch. And a called strike. All of the Monument Valley girls are in rubber cleats or turf shoes. Do they have a turf field up there? Um, I don't know. They may. So ball on the inside pitch almost <laughs> hit marble. 1-1 one, one to count. Good eye by Jalen. Ball two. Yeah. You know, I like it when Marble relaxes and starts to show a little bit of zip. She doesn't look tight and tense right now. She looks very relaxed. Ball <laughs> three, three, one count. Which is something I love to see out of that kid. Having had the pleasure of coaching her in softball. And she's going to take the walk on the first at-bat of the game. And that is exactly how we wanted to start this inning. And that's going to bring Macy up to bat. Macy, Pete, Sotoquist. Senior center fielder for Round Valley. For those of you who are new to the stream today. There's a nice spot Nice bunt. Bunt right in front. And it's going to be Oh, no there's good. interference on the first baseman, but he is not going to call it. But everybody's going to come around. Jaylen slides in, and she's safe under the tag. Four. And Macy's going to go to third. So, wow, a lot going on on that. <laughs> One up with that. So, sack, bunt, safe. On a fielding error, right? Yes. And then on that same error, they just continued to advance. That's going to bring Anna up to bat. Pitch is on its way. So here's Foul how ball. So here's how I scored it. Sack bunt safe on a fielder's choice. Fielding error at first base gets everybody to second and third, but then Stolen bases for home and third as the defense stood there with the ball wondering Didn't what to throw do. throw it in, yeah. High 1-1 one, one count. Which basically brings Sotoquist to third and now wondering at the indifference if she should go home or not. So the girls are playing with some uh, 
Oh, what's that count? 1-1? One, 1-1. One? One, one. So, well, let's see if Anna can get a RBI here. Hi, 2-1 count. But, yeah, a lot going on in that last, <laughs> that last at bat. Wow. That's oh. going to be gone, but it's going to be foul. Yeah, it had the distance just not between the lines. <laughs> Anna with a 2-2 two -two count now. Hey, wait for it. Yes, yeah, so that areola is up to bat with Muth on deck. Protect. Start calling those two the sisters of SWAT. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Full count. In. Okay. This is the this is the kind of ball player your kid is, right? Ordinarily, she'd let that ball hit her, but she wants to hit the ball, <laughs> so she's not going to first on hit by a pitch. She wants. She's going to gonna go hit. after coach. <laughs> so she's going to stand in that box, avoid being hit, and try to get this one out in the grass or over the fence. Hey, have fun. She thinks I don't notice that stuff. <laughs> woo! Woo! <laughs> Macy's ducking. <laughs> As she sees flashbacks, everybody ducking and diving on that side. What is that song lyric? <laughs> ducking and diving, it. peeking and hiding. I don't know that one, Dan. <laughs> Little Richard, way before us. <laughs> Everybody He's telling her, you are just... way out front. <laughs> Have fun, sis. She is going right after Darren's face. She's having a lot of fun. And she's going to take the walk. And that's going to bring Ty, uh, Skyler. Yeah, that's going to bring Skyler in to run for Areola. Skyler, a freshman to Round Valley this year. Great little pickup, in my opinion. Kind of stood out in Pima as a courtesy runner. Showed some aggression on the bases. So we got Allison at the plate with runners on the corners. No outs. So let's see what, let's see what Babe Muth let's can do here. See if she can be a, wait a little longer than Anna did on hers. Ball. That's going to be a pass ball, and that's going to score Macy. Ooh, Skyler getting Skyler's way halfway. out there. <laughs> she got way out there. And retreats back to second. So Macy will score on the pass ball, and Skyler will advance, but Skyler got way out there on a suicide lead. And that's the aggression that we were seeing in Pima. Yeah, I mean... And that's actually an excellent thing to do because everybody kind of freezes at that point. So Allison with the 1-0 count. Pitch is on its way. That's going to be a wild pitch advancing Skyler to third. So that's a ball two to Muth if I'm not mistaken. Unless I've missed something. That's what I have. Muth, In senior pitcher for Round Valley, with a very familiar sounding name. Oh. Allison's going to get her second home run. No, oh, it's going to stay. To say. But she is going to get the sack fly. So, yeah, I thought I thought The maybe. sound of the bat, Dan, sounded like that one was gone. But uh, center fielder underneath it, able to catch it. And advance Skyler home on the sack fly. That's going to bring up Kelsey Penrod, sophomore. So one out. Round Valley up 3-0. Top of first. Round Valley jumping out early. Can I just tell you what I found out when I was over at the scores table? What's that? Page beat River Valley 10-0. 
Paige, uh, I've had a lot of respect for Paige ever since I faced him in Little League. They are, you don't hardly hear anything about them, but when they show up, they show up to play. Well, most of those girls are playing on club teams. That's true. So, and they're playing Snowflake now. Yeah, Sand Snakes, and who else are they playing for? Uh, uh, so, Kelsey yeah. with a ground out to third for a 5-3 on your scorecard. And that's going to bring Sky to the plate with two down. Uh, I can't think of anything I'd rather be doing right now. You know, that's what Joel and I decided this morning. We're sitting in the hotel, and we're like, let's just go to the field. Why not? Well, you know, you do this long enough, you know people. You're right. So it's not like you can't just hang Strike out. Strike swinging, 1-1 one, one count. That's exactly it. We pulled up, and we looked around, and we saw people we knew and went and yeah. visited. I might actually shed a little bit of a tear in May. <laughs> Sky being patient up there, 2 1 count. Strike swinging, 2 2. Thank you for all of you that have tuned in. Please hit that share button and let your friends and family know that we are live today. Uh, actually, Let's Go Elks in general has several live opportunities for you to watch today. That's a ball to sky, bringing her count full. Weird. Uh, I was told by the umpire in the last game, there is no such thing as a full count. It's a 3-2 count. Oh. Full count was a thing brought on by Harry Carey, is what I was Foul told. Foul ball. And he would probably know, because he was probably alive when Harry Carey played. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, I'm going to continue Didn't to say full count. Everybody does. Anyway. Anyways, I was saying that uh, Let's Go Elks has, we had the last game. We have this game. There will be a seventh, or sorry, an eighth grade girls basketball second round playoff game at four o'clock. And an eighth grade boys basketball second round playoff game at five o'clock. And then we will be back here with you at 630 tonight. And I have also heard rumor that possibly a baseball game on today. So make sure oh. you do hit that like and share button so that way you will be notified and you can tune in and support these student athletes at Round Valley High School. So we're going to start streaming baseball. Awesome. Uh, sounds like I don't know. I don't know if it, if it actually happened. <gasps> Ooh. Incoming. So who is the? Uh, I don't know who's doing it. But who is the crew on that? But I know it's going to be one of the mobile mobile units. So it will it will be video only, but at least it will be some action. Wes has been working hard on getting that going this year. Good oh, deal. I yeah, Sky's at 3-2 uh, count right now. And Sky takes the walk. Yeah, she'll take the walk. With, so with two outs, Peralta's on first with Brindley Haas coming up to bat. Brindley Haas... Uh, is due. We should see some. We should see some life come out of her at this point. One big cloud is all that's stopping that sun from coming through right now. Yeah. High ball one. With every at bat these girls take, they're starting to show better and better and more discipline. So. Also, we got track. I forgot about high school track. That is going on today too at the dome. Are we streaming that as well? We are. So swings. Go go go, go sky. sky. <laughs> go go gadget. <laughs> A missed throw from the catcher <laughs> ends up in right center, and Sky advances to second. <laughs> Ridley Haas stepping into the bag, or stepping into the box. I am, I am wanting to see something, some something huge out of this at bat. That's going to be a ball. Sky says she's going to go, and she makes it in time. On the pass ball, 
So I've got a 2-1 count, but I'll have to confirm that with the umpire when he gets a chance. Sorry, I'm throwing stuff over you, Dan. I'm tired of it falling. Uh, that's all right. We've got just enough breeze to be irritating. And that's going to be a strike on the inside corner for a 2-2 count. That's going to be outside, full count. And Brindley goes for the high rise ball. And that is going to end the inning. All right, Lily, who is the first batter for Monument Valley before you go into the ads? Or you know what? Here, hand me that, and you do that. How about that? All right. That, that, and that. that, that How about that. that? Let's do that. So How let's thank that? those sponsors. Landmark Homes, Adam Poston, 928-245-6499. Ten percent of his commissions go toward the organization Sharing Down Syndrome. White Mountain Regional Medical Center with local administrators with a focus on our community and the needs of our families. They do have new MRI and CT equipment available. Altitude Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy at altitude.life. One hour session sessions that use pure oxygen and below sea level pressure to increase the body's ability to function at optimal performance. Trail Riders, 928-333-1446. Head in tonight for the Friday night fish fry that starts at 5 o'clock. Farmers Insurance, Agent Troy Merrill, talk about life insurance and all the risk involved in everything we do. Dan Muth, Land Surveying, DMJM PLS, modern technology for all your land surveying needs, drone mapping, and more. Treadmasters Tire and Lube, 928-362-5280, located next to National Bank of Arizona, open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. And also to all those silent partners, you know who you are. Thank you to all of our sponsors this season. Uh, we are able to bring you all the live action. Wherever these Lady Elks go, we're right there with them, Dan. Oh, absolutely. I wish I could say that next week. <laughs> Lily will be by herself next week. I've got to. I've got to make a business trip. So, so anybody that thinks they want to jump on with me, let me know. Next week, talking about next week, Dan, we are in Holbrook on Wednesday and at home against Winslow on Thursday. I'm going to go ahead and predict a very windy day. Always, and that's going to be a strike swinging. Is that number eight? That is number eight. Here we go. Ball one, one, one count. Come on, son, clear that cloud. One more cloud and we're good for hours. <laughs> Strike two swinging. Yep. One, two count. You know, it doesn't feel like it's in the 50s until the sun goes behind a cloud. And then all of a sudden, it's, it goes from being nice to, you know, it's kind of chilly. Yes, I agree. Ooh, that was beautiful. I wish we had sound <laughs> effects. I wish we had sound effects. I'd love to have that one where the car hits and breaks the windshield. The Monument Valley fans here said that was gorgeous as well. Yeah. <laughs> Inside corner for strike three looking. So, one out on the inning. <laughs> Senior Allison Muth in the circle for Round Valley as she faces her second batter. Number two, that's going to be a foul ball heading in to the other field. Yeah, goes into the snowflake game over there. There we go, Dan. Yeah. Inside corner. Ooh, that was beautiful as well. 1-1 one, one count. Little low. 
2-1 count. Stature, this batter, is she is hungry. She's wanting to put this ball into play. <laughs> well, you don't see that very often, Dan. Uh, go, ahead, go ahead and <laughs> clean that plate for me. <laughs> Blue hands over. <laughs> uh, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> I got some cleaning at the house I need done. Send her on over. <laughs> That's all I got to do is put on a blue shirt. That was awesome. <laughs> and that's going to go right back to Allison. Allison composes herself and makes the throw down to Brindley. Yeah, that, a little 1-3 action there in your scorebook. And that's going to be out number two. It's going to bring up number 13 to the plate. Third batter in the inning. Short stop for Monument Valley. A little too far outside, 1-0 count. So there was some discussion coming back from Pima Tuesday night, Lily, if you'll remember. I, I don't know. I was driving, Dan. I don't know if oh, I remember Oh, no, at you'll all. remember this as soon as I <laughs> – as soon as I – Inside so, corner strike, one looking. As soon as I make the statement, we were one pitch away. <laughs> <laughs> one, one pitch away uh, from the coveted no-no, and it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, there was discussion at practice the next day too. Believe me, I heard it. I would, I would have loved to have been a, a, a little bug in the corner of the room. And the only reason I heard it is because I was delivering these beautiful jerseys these girls are wearing today. Thank you, Brianne, and your team. Ground ball to right. Right's going to go to first to retire the side. And that will take us to the third inning. Elks defense standing up big in that inning. Sorry, that's going to take us to the bottom. Top of two. I am all messed up on here, Dan. Top of two. Sorry for all of you that are watching. So we'll be leading. Uh, we'll be leading off with Bates, shortstop, junior for Round Valley. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about, and we were talking about the the no no that didn't happen because of one pitch. One pitch. <laughs> oh. As Anna described it, one pitch. Oh, one pitch. <laughs> you know, well, she's pretty quiet, but when it comes to that kind of stuff. One pitch. She's she's going to tell you how she feels. And, Lily, I just, I got to give credit where credit is due. You know, I, I pride myself in my driving. And... Uh, I got to tell you, you handled that road like a champ. My hat is off to you. Well, I found out I did scare MK. Well, you might have scared MK, but I was very comfortable in that trip. I, if you scared MK, I, I probably would have had her chewing on the seat cover. Um, it was uh, no, it was a good balance of speed and recklessness. Got us home. <laughs> got us home very quickly, which was m very much appreciated as I had to be at work at six o'clock the next morning and the girls didn't seem they were still tired but not so tired you know really not worried about them being tired as long as they can get their full sleep right but yeah that was as far as i'm concerned if we have to go down to if we have to go well we do have to go down we there. have to we go back go to twice <laughs> yeah we got to go to benson and marinci so yeah, I'm gonna go do. ahead and I'm gonna volunteer you to drive those. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> All right, Lauren Bates coming up. Junior shortstop for us this season. Waiting on our signal from coach, but coach is just talking to the dugout. You know who else is very good at making that kind of drive is Ethan Holiday. He knows how to preload the vehicle going into a curve to make the canyon. Oh, and there's a called strike. Uh, he knows how to he knows how to work that real well to where he doesn't dump off a lot of speed. You don't get thrown around the vehicle, but you get there. That's going to be another called strike in a very expedited amount of time. So you and Ethan might consider NASCAR, maybe Formula One. <laughs> Carla, you'll be happy to hear that. Did you hear that? I'm supposed to be a NASCAR driver. Oh, diving nice catch. play by the pitcher on Monument Valley. 
dives out of the circle to stop the ball and gets it to first base in time to get Bates out for out number one of the inning. Yeah, that was a nice diving save by the pitcher there. Of course, that won't be reflected in Game Changer, but you'll get to see it on the video. It's going to bring Jalen Wright up to bat. Jalen with the bun to tipped, and it goes foul. Okay, explain the number change to me. I don't think one of the jerseys was here at game time. Is that what it was? I think that is the situation. So now they just decide to stick with it? Because normally Wright wears 11. Now she's, in the last two games, she's wearing number four, and then Skyler's got that nightgown on. Well, they are the same size jersey. Number 11 and number four. Yeah, well, they're definitely not the same size girl. <laughs> but I believe that is the situation, that that is the reason it is. I've got one and one on the batter, or that's am I what mistaken? I, that's what I have. Foul ball and a pitch out of the zone. Strike two, swinging. Perhaps just a little bit anxious. Oh. Foul ball. Foul ball. One two pitch coming. And that's going to be called looking. And that will bring us back to the top of the order with Jalen Marble. Jalen Marble's last at bat, and she uh, walked after a pretty predictive at bat with a series of foul balls. This is uh, two outs, correct, Dan? We have two outs, that's correct. Top of two. Oh, that's going to be a high fly ball. Top fly, it's trouble. Pitcher in on it, out of uh, in foul territory. Makes the catch for out number three. And that's going to take us to the bottom of the second. With the score 3-0, Lady Elks on top. I'm sorry, sir. Can you put me down for hazardous duty pay? Hazardous. You the mask and hit me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, Blue, well, that's when you just sister. tap her on the back of the head and tell her to leave her mask on. <laughs> and then that's not a problem. <laughs> well, but you're, you've got all kinds of authority. you got the jersey on. <laughs> So on the on the uh, pop out foul by Marble, that will retire the side. Now we're going to have Monument Valley, I believe, their fourth batter, but I don't have it set completely in Game Changer yet because we haven't gone through the entire what cycle. What number? I think fourteen. Uh, yeah, it is fourteen because I did put them in the right order. So it is. That is number four. Yep. So the fourth batter for Monument Valley coming up. As the girls are, look at the girls starting to relax a little bit. First game for the tournament's over. Second game. Now we're on third game of the season. Well, Getting back in the hang of things after having, what, did we have two games canceled or just one? Two. And I'm, you know, I'm not really, I'm kind of glad they got canceled, to be honest, because I don't think we were field ready yet, even though we haven't been on the field mm -hmm. much because of weather. Um, but every game these girls play, I gotta All be one. honest. They're starting to show some. They're starting to show some real confidence. And you know, as a dad, I I love seeing that. Inside two zero count. When you can when you can see them smiling and interacting with each other and doing everything that they do, it's just you can see them start to settle into the game and not get. Worried about stuff. Foul, Foul ball. ball. You know, because we're in that part of the season where players are, you know, worried about their position, worried about the security of their position. And to Coach uh, Emerald's credit, you know, he lets the girls, he gives the girls a shot. He isn't one to just uh, take them out of the lineup for one little uh, issue. 3-1 count to the batter.
Okay. 31's a count. Allison really needs to come back at her now. Inside, and that's going to be a ball four. So Allison with the opportunity to set her infield up for a double play. I think she's going. <laughs> I know. I just. You would have to be. Ball one. It's going to be hit to Brindley. At first, she's going to throw it to short. Oh, and the ball came out the of her glove. Came oh, out. That would have been a double play. So Brindley with the great tap on the bag. Throw it over to second. So, yeah, Brindley with the 3-3. Three, three. All right, so we got a runner at second with one down. So runner in scoring position. Umpire checking the rubber, the pitching rubber. Maestro on a areola setting up her defense. Coach Emerald asking, telling everybody, ask yourself, where am I going with the ball? One out on the field. Here comes the tornado back. Strike one looking. Muth coming straight at her. Ball low. Hey, MK, it's good to know that you're listening to us. MK's listening to MK's us? MK's listening to us. Maybe you can take it. Hey, MK, you want to sit in for me next week? I got somebody that says they, they're going to do it, Dan. Who's that? The old paw of mine. Oh, there you go. And that's going to be hit to Brindley. She gets off the base, fills it, and gets back to first base for out number two. And the runner advances to third in the process. Sacrifice grounder, as Lily and I like to call it. <laughs> yes, yes, we know there is no such thing, but we like to call it that. Strike one looking. Pitch is on its way. Foul ball. One, uh, zero, two count. So if Round Valley can prevent this runner from scoring, we may get our, well, never mind. I'm not going to jinx it. Oh. Rise ball getting away from move <laughs> there for ball one. So with a one, two count. Runner at third. Pitch, ball Round hit ball to Bates. She makes the throw, but it's in the ground and not able to pick it is Haas. Haas not able to get down on the ball. So we're gonna have a fielding error, a throwing error on Bates. And the runner advances to second, bringing in one run. So with two outs, this will be our eighth batter, number three for Monument Valley. Ooh, nice looking pitch. Just must be a little inside for ball one. Oh, where did my, oh. Strike looking.
Pitch is on its way. Outside corner looking, so one, two count for Allison. Here's the windup and the pitch and a swing. And so that will out retire. number three. Yeah, that will retire the side with uh, one run coming in. So Round Valley's up 3-1 over Monument Valley going into the top of third. Leading off for Round Valley will be number three, senior Macy Sodaquist. All right, Dan, so I'm looking. Yes, uh, we have three brackets. Okay, we have it's a big school bracket, a three and four A bracket, and then a one two random bracket because right. we've got some three and four A schools in it as well. Right. What happens is you turn into two pool plays tomorrow. You have a gold bracket, which is uh, composed of the bracket or uh, pool one and the top two of pool two. Uh oh. Which is not <laughs> us. Not us, because we're in pool three. Oh, okay. And then the f the remaining um, people in teams in pool two and all of pool three go together for the purple bracket. Purple. So we will be in the purple bracket. If we win all three games today, we will be in first in pool three, which will put us playing at two o'clock tomorrow. So, we'll, so get a, we'll get a chance to sleep in, rest, have some good lunch, and then head to the ballpark. Which would be good. I mean, it'd be nice to get those later games. Normally during the summer, we're always at the field at 6 or 6.30. So well, yeah, that's that is the way it is. It's 2 o'clock, and then they would play at 3.30, and 6 o'clock is pool, uh, bracket, purple bracket championship. And what happens if we come in... Less than first. If we are at uh, pool three second, we play at 12.30. If we're pool three third, we play at 9 a.m. Well, chances are chances are looking very good that we don't have to worry about third. Correct. Possibly second or first. So we don't have to worry about getting here much before noon. And Macy's up to bat. We will find out. We have heard rumor that we may not have a 6.30 game. I'm going to find that out uh, before this game is over. I will go find the director again if I can. Yeah, I don't want to hang out at the field all afternoon just to find out we've got a forfeit at 6.30. Macy swings, strike one. And the reason the conversation came up is the team we're supposed to play at 6.30 did not show up to the game last night that they had. They have two games back to back to this afternoon. So we'll see. Strike two. Boy, Wes is going to be amazed to see how dirty all of his shiny toys are. <laughs> Welcome to softball season. <laughs> That's going to be a ball. He must be planning on getting a new soundboard for football because I can't imagine he wanted to use this one for softball. Because it's getting filthy. I mean filthy. <laughs> uh. That's going to be high. 2-2 two, two count to Macy. Is it 2-2? Two, two? I had 2-1. The last two have been balls. And the first two were strikes. Yep. I guess so. Okay. And she's going to go down swinging for out number one of the inning. Wind blowing in at us now, Dan. Yeah. Ball one. It's like coming at us left, left, center. Strike on the inside corner, 1-1 one, one count. Everybody thought so, but Anna. <laughs> she didn't like it. There it is. Oh, that one's going to be too high. Catch for out number two. Good job, 
And that's going to bring Allison up to bat. So bring up Babe Muth, who flew out to center field. Going to be high, ball one. Oh, that was a pretty pitch. <laughs> she liked it, but she realized that was a little high after she swung at it. 1-1 <laughs> one, one count to Allison. Double. And we're going to get a courtesy runner in for her, and that's going to be number two, Brooklyn Merrill. going into the fourth inning with this out of bat bat I look for the fourth inning coach Emerald to go back and do a little small ball get some runners on base oh my foul ball might have spoke a little too soon Penrod goes for the bunt bunts at foul on the rise ball pitch but wanting to get Merrill in scoring position using the bunt to do it. Inside. 1-1 one, one count. <laughs> 2 one count to Penrod. Had a pretty lively uh, one in first and second inning. Third inning's kind of settling down a little bit. High, 3-1 count. Penrod showing some discipline at the plate. Admittedly, Lily, I don't know much about these sophomores and freshmen. I don't, I haven't been on the field with them or. Strike looking. Um, I don't think I've ever watched Kelsey play until now, to be honest. Oh. And Kelsey's going to go down swinging for out number three. That's going to take us to the bottom of the third inning. And with that, we're going to thank those sponsors. Let them roll across your screen. All oh. right, defensively, Coach Emerald has made, decided to make a few changes. So you got Courtney Baca coming into the lineup for Lauren Bates. But defensively, she is going to go to first base. Uh, that's going to bring Brindley behind the plate and move Anna to short. That's the way I got it. All right. So this is the number nine batter for Monument Valley. And that's going to be a strike on the inside corner. That's going to be looking. Got it. Dan, you still got 3-1 here in the bottom of the third? I do. All right, just making sure my scoreboard for our friends back at home is correct this game. Inside pitch, ball, 1-1. Yeah, one, one. Inside pitch, just missing inside. Allison trying to work that inside corner, and she's actually working the inside of the batter's box. And coming up a little high, 21 
Foul oh. ball. 2-2 two -two count. Allison's up to 35 pitches. In three innings. In three innings. That's what. That's a number I like to see. A little over 10 pitches an inning. That's not bad. Especially when you take in consideration you got to have nine strikes unless it's fielded. Right. That's going to be a strike looking on the inside corner for out number one of the inning. One down. That's going to bring up number eight, top of the lineup for Monument Valley. As Fonzie would say, correctamundo. We're actually old enough now to where there's an entire generation <laughs> don't know what, who Fonzie is. <laughs> Strike looking. Called that one before Blue did. Whoops. <laughs> Take it easy there. Don't be trying to tell him how to call his game. That's going to be another one. Yeah, I uh, I say some of these things around the house, and Allison just looks at me like, what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, foul ball. And then sometimes I got answered, I don't know. Don't worry about it, right? No. So, Monument Valley, a 3A school from northern Arizona. They play in the 3A North region. Yeah, we actually play them in football. Sky Peralta. with the ball to Courtney for out number two of the inning. So a little 5-3 action there for the second out as Peralta goes to Baca. Baca showing her ability to stretch out and catch the throw. Those throws, not going to lie, making me just a tad bit nervous. <laughs> Number two up to bat for Monument Valley. I think this girl plays some club. A lot of uh, foul ball. Page Monument Valley girls play on. Sundancers? Yes. Sand snakes, sundancers. One of Emily's. Sidewinders. Or sidewinders. One of Emily's teammates played for the sand, sundancers out of Albuquerque. Foul ball. So, bottom of three. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. And this is the second batter. So, we got a lot of twos going on. I thought on. this is third batter, Dan. We already got two outs. Nope. We started with number nine. We started in the nine spot. And this is the third bat. Oh, you're saying. Third batter. Number two hole. Ooh, number right two back hole. up the hole. Uh, Allison dribbles into center field. Macy makes... The play out there is single for number two. All right, number three hole grounded out to Jalen Wright at second base for a little 4-3. See what she does at this at bat. Here's the windup. Foul ball. Round Valley kind of the sleeper team right now at this tournament. Nobody's really, nobody was knowing what to expect out of us. <laughs> well, when you win a state championship but lose six seniors. Yeah, the first thing everybody says is, oh, it's a rebuilding year. Well, it kind of is, but it kind of isn't at the same time. That's going to be played by Sky over to Courtney for out number three. Job, Sky. Nice, nice job there by Sky in that inning. And, and that's going to take us top of the fourth inning. Top of fourth inning, retiring the side, will be leading off with number 15, Sky Peralta, batting sixth in the lineup. And of course, the wind's got to come up. 
You on the ad roll? No, I'm not. Oh. So they can hear us. They can hear us. I just didn't like it as uh, crooked as it was, but I think I fixed it a little bit. Oh, had a little rough camera angle after a couple of those foul balls. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not liking how the wind is gaining in in uh, intensity. Got a pretty good crowd from Round Valley here this weekend with us, Dan. Well, absolutely. With the weather being what it has been, <laughs> I would look for any and all excuse to get off the mountain, too. I mean, we have gone bitter cold, snow, mud, bitter cold, snow, mud, bitter cold, snow, mud. For what, the last month? I mean, it's just been every week. Just not, not complain about the moisture, though. Don't get me wrong. Not complain about the moisture. But just when you think, oh, it's going to get nice. Well, you know, if you get a nice day, you're getting snow the next day. Yep. You get that day that gets up into the high 40s, low 50s, and you're thinking, oh, I can take my jacket off. And then the next day it's gray and snowing by noon, and you just think, come on. It's March. Most people call this spring. Easter's coming. Why are we still getting snow? Well, because you live in the mountains, that's why. Because good old Phil told us we got six more weeks of it. Yeah, well, <laughs> teriyaki Phil or Poxa Hockey or whatever his name is. That's why I said good old Phil because I was going to say the wrong name too. Was it Pocket Poxatani or I don't know. I wish I could give a prize for somebody who could text me and tell me the answer, but I don't carry around a bag of candy bars like Wes does. <laughs> and nor are you here to <laughs> receive that candy bar. <laughs> yeah, go to the Wickenburg concession stand, tell them I sent you for a free candy bar and see what that gets you. <laughs> go ahead and ask them for a free car while you're at it because it's probably going to do you the same amount of good. Whoa, what was that? I'm just checking in here to uh, YouTube, seeing if we have any uh, Punks Atani. Of course. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Producer. Appreciate that. Appreciate you looking out for me. Sky in the box. Here's the wind up in the pitch, low pitch for ball one. Punks Atani Phil. I like mine better. I'm going to call him Teriyaki Bob. Thanks to all those viewers that are watching with us right now. Sky with the high fly ball. The wind might carry that in for a f Yes, it does. Drops in behind second base. So Sky with the single. Fly ball single to Peralta to lead off. Oh, uh, what did he say? He What's said he, he say? just got back on 10 seconds ago. And Ten seconds. Of course you did. Of course <laughs> you did. Boss catching me. Oh, that, okay. You can't do that, Lily. That. <laughs> so, ball and then pass ball by the catcher. Let Sky get to second. I was getting ready to say thanks for all of you tuning in with us. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Share the feed with your friends and family as well so that way they can tune in and watch these Lady Elks. She's There's a nice it. bunt by Brindley. To the left side, and she's going to make it. The throw is off from the pitcher, and that's going to bring Sky home. That's going to – the ball is all the way down the first base line, and Brindley with the bunt brings her all the way home. I don't even really – So there's just one error on the play in that. So we have a bunt, a uh, single. Uh, no. No? No, it was not a single. It was an error, throwing error by the uh, pitcher. But after the hit, right? I don't think she would have been there in time. The first baseman had to come off the okay. base. Okay. Uh, and that was the pitcher that pitcher. committed that? Yep, and then she just on the same error all the way around. Wow. So Courtney up to bat now, 2-0 count. Inside corner looking. 
2-1 count. So the elusive bunt home run. <laughs> Although it did come on air, so technically. A little low, 3-1 count. But you know what? It doesn't matter. It's a point on the scoreboard, Dan. Actually, two. Yeah, two. So Round Valley up 5-1 over Monument Valley. Courtney liked that one, just a little under it. I've got 32. Yes, it is. That's going to be oh. called strike on the outside corner for out number one, correct? That is correct. That will bring up number two. Oh. We got Brooklyn coming into the game. Brooklyn Merrill's going to come in for right. <coughs> so that will burn Allison's courtesy runner. We must be getting close to time. Uh, we're about 12 minutes. Yeah. No. Excuse me. I got to. Did that work? Was that a good cough uh, button? There you go. Or was it loud enough I came through your mic? I don't know. I didn't hear it on my side through the headphones anyway. Brooklyn getting set in the box. Here's the wind-up inside pitch call for a ball. Brooklyn's another one that I, uh, I look for to have a bright future in this sport. Hey, stay in there and let it hit you. Would love to see that kid get involved in some summer play. That wasn't even close to her, and she jumped out of the way. Well, it's a big ball, and she's a <laughs> small girl. I mean, two one count to Brooklyn. And there is absolutely nothing soft about a softball. No. They are nice bruise makers. That is one thing for sure. 3-1 count to Brooklyn. So Merrill swinging herself into a full count. Or um, a 3-2 count, as I was <laughs> instructed earlier. I don't know why you're changing it now, Dan. That's going to be called strike. It's going to bring Jalen Marble up to bat. So Marble had that little pop-up foul ball that the pitcher was able to run down and catch. Let's see what she does with this at bat. <laughs> I was hoping we could get a couple base runners on there for her. I'd love to see her slap into a triple. It's going to be a ball one. Oh. Rise ball getting away from the catcher. Ball two. Two oh count to marble. Pitch is on its way. It's going to be outside. Ball three. Jalen being patient this at bat. You know, Dan, I love this tournament for the fact that it's a softball tournament and they make the baseball players work it. You know, and well, this is a fundraiser for the baseball softball program. So, right. Um, I, I, I like that too. It's nice to see that. I wish we could... I wish we could eventually put something together in Round Valley, but by the time it's nice enough to play in Round Valley. Jalen takes her base. The season's over, but perhaps, you know, maybe something in the summer, you know, a little friendly for the schools to get together. Macy taking her plate, a uh, place in the batter's box. Little Bird told me that the town eager is now going to make some investment into the rec ball field. That's what I've heard. It's out of commission right now as they are making those adjustments for Little League this year. Jalen way off the base, but able to get back in time. So it'll be good, you know, if we can get those fields in shape, then perhaps, you know, maybe throw a little fast pitch tournament in, draw some of those teams from the Valley up. 
Jalen's going to take the still on this one. And she gets caught stilling. Oh. So Macy uh, will get her at bat coming back in to the next inning if we have a next inning, Dan, if time permits. Yeah, the catcher shortstop for Monument Valley connecting up on that. And again, you know, you got to try that, right? You got to make those, you got to try those plays. It's that part of the season where you need to evaluate what you've got. Um, that was a good one to try. Great timing. Personally, I thought she had her hand in there before the tag went down. But, hey, the guy in the blue shirt said otherwise, so we just got to go with it. And why? Oh, Allison moves to first, and it looks like Courtney is going to pitch. And Jay Lynn is back in the lineup for Brooklyn. That's what I was just observing. And, Dan, I'm going to take a second and see if I can uh, find out about the 630 game. Okay. So it looks like we're going to have a pitching change for Round Valley. Sorry to, for the dead air right there. Uh, Courtney Baca is going to come in to pitch. Jalen Wright's going to re-enter at second base. Allison Muth is going to move to first. Brindley Hawes behind the plate. Peralta at third. Marble in left. Sodaquist in center. Penrod in right with Areola at short. So as we get ready to go into the bottom of the fourth, uh, Number 14 for Monument Valley, who is their number four hole batter, will be coming up to bat. The umpire's now clearing the plate as we get ready for our first pitch. Courtney Bach, I believe a junior, sophomore, sophomore from Round Valley, sophomore pitcher. Courtney is a sophomore. Courtney is a sophomore. Junior. Junior. I'm glad her mom didn't hear me say that. <laughs> so Courtney, first pitch is a ball. Right? This is the first batter? First bat, bat yep. for this inning? Yeah, the four-hole batter is leading off. That's going to be inside corner for a strike looking. It's going to be inside. 2 1 count to the batter. Ooh, batter stands there and lets that one wear and wears it. Yeah, so after being hit by the pitch, number 14 will go to first. That will bring up the five-hole batter, number 25. Let the runner walk it off. I thought we were doing so good with the sunshine. What happened? I know, it got cold. So what would you find out? Nothing. I'm still looking for the man. Oh, he's probably over there with the Wickenburg softball team. <laughs> Getting ready to play on field C. And she's going to hit the second batter. <laughs> so Monument Valley now has two on base. And Coach Emerald says, I'm coming out and visiting for a second. Oh, I'm running, Dan. All right. <laughs> well, we're just going to sit back and relax. Coach Emerald talks to his infield. They're cleaning. 
chatting it up a little bit as they settle down and have a conversation. Allison talking to Baca, giving her some advice. So now batting for Monument Valley is number 23. She's batting in the sixth hole for Monument Valley. Her last at bat, she uh, grounded out to first. But now runners in scoring position for Monument Valley. And it looks like, it looks like number 23 was hit by a pitch. So Baca has hit the base is loaded. And Muth back in the circle. And that will bring Muth back to the circle and Courtney will go to first for the defensive change. So give me just a moment to switch that up. And Dan, while I was gone, I saw the man that I was looking for ran. Yes, Desert Heights is here, so we will have a 6.30 game. Oh, great. Looking forward to that. <laughs> so now we get to hang out. I'm gonna go to the concession stand. Me too. Get me a ballpark cheeseburger, I think. Girls, we're going to go grab the girls some lunch, too. None. So we've got... Um... Oh, I can't. Number one is going to... Uh... Be up to bat here. She's coming in for seven. Oh, okay. Only because I can hear the coach talking. So that's number who? Well, I don't see a number seven, so. Uh, I see number one. Right? Yeah. Okay. So we got number one batting in the seven hole. Yep, that must be what she meant. Sometimes it's hard to hear exactly with the headphones on. Yeah. All so, right, so your Lady Elks, <laughs> we're both quiet and start talking at the same time. Lady Elks uh, leading 5-1 here. Bases loaded, no outs in the bottom of the fourth inning. Number one up to bat for Monument Valley. Pitch is on its way from Allison. That's going to be a called strike. Did I make the switch? Oh, I did. Good. And that's going to be strike two on the inside corner. 0-2 oh, count for Allison. And that's going to be foul. foul ball. Is Daryl Dad's heart stops beating? Any contact scores a run at this point. Yes, it is. Unless we can catch it in the air and make the, get the throw home quickly. That's going to be yep. strike three looking. Out number one. So this her number three. Batting in the eight hole, struck out swinging her last at bat. As yeah, Muth's got a pretty big hole to dig out of here. That's going to be strike one swinging. Strike two swinging. Oh, that one uh, getting away from her a little <laughs> bit. A little high. A high and outside rise ball. Foul ball. Foul ball. Two, uh, one, two count. Yeah, 
You know, <clears throat> last year we kind of struggled with cell service bringing these games. Yeah. The 5G definitely helps. It does. I've been watching, and we, we're looking good so far. Foul, Foul ball. ball. Strike three. Oh, Four out number well. two. <laughs> Brindley keeping the runner at third honest. Okay, so this is a fielder's choice dream right here. Go to the bag the ball takes you to. Bases loaded, two outs, bottom of fourth. There's a pass ball. Muth is running into covers. Brindley goes to get it, and that run will score. All right, so Monument Valley brings one run across. Runners at second and third. Strike swinging, 1-1 one, one count. Elson was going to go ahead and pitch that while the umpire was <laughs> She's got getting a big the ball. smile on her face. <laughs> Strike on the inside corner looking. One, two count for the batter. Two down. So are we just going to leave the table? I was just thinking, <laughs> did you notice me looking at it? Is that why you asked? Yeah. <laughs> well, because I was, I was thinking the same thing. We're going to have about two and a half hours to go get something to eat. I really don't want to mess with, mess with it. Allison with the pitch. Inside corner That's called it. strike three, and that should be game, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see here what Blue Talk says. I, Maybe not. I don't know. He's checking his time. He's looking. Everybody's like, do we have another inning? Do we not? That's ball game. Ball game. So, ladies and gentlemen, Round Valley up 5-2 over Monument Valley. 5-2? 5-2. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, back home I accidentally hit it, apparently. All right, we're going to have to get out of the way for this other, for the uh, next game coming up. But here's your stats. Team stats on the day, batting, Round Valley had 19 plate appearances, 14 at bats, two hits, one single, one double, one RBI, five runs, four base on balls, uh, six strikeouts, three of them looking. So not a bad day. Uh, let's see, pitching stats, Muth had four innings pitched. Uh... 15 batters face, 63 pitches, 22 balls, 41 strikes, two hits, one run, one error, one base on balls, six strikeouts, four of them looking, four left on base with uh, Baca coming in with three batters face, seven balls pitched, six balls, one strike, and uh, three hit by pitch. So... On the day, um, I just got distracted. Uh, let's see. So, a pretty good day for Round Valley. And uh, we're going to get back at, what, 6.30? Yeah, we'll uh, probably go live close to 6.20. And make sure you all are tuned in. Make sure you hit that like and, like and subscribe button right now, so that way you'll be notified when we do go live. And we'll see you back here at the fields in a couple hours.